Hey, hi. You're listening to the MS Chronicles. Yeah. <laughs> it's my dad and his three friends. Just kidding. Love you, dad. How much? A lot. Gotta listen for, for you. You're a silly daddy. And you're a daddy too. I know, you're right. I love you. I love you. Hello and happy January 19th from all of us at the Infamous Chronicles. What is special about January 19th, you ask? Today we turn four. As you heard my daughter, little mini infamous, say congratulations on her four year in her little super adorable intro. Today marks the fourth year of existence for the infamous Chronicles. Uh, this little project started as a way for me to deal with early fatherhood uh, with one mic and a kitchen table and it has since evolved into this family, this movement, this statement, this lifestyle. And we have a production company now. We have four podcasts going. We're working on a short film. We've published two books. I'm just so proud to be a part of this project and to be at the front of it and watch all these people succeed around me. It's just really great. So we just wanted to make a special episode as our way of saying thank you and just sharing what we think is special about the show. So uh, enjoy. And uh, again, thank you so much. All right. Why is the Infamous Chronicles special to you the infamous chronicles actually uh sparked my interest and influenced and motivated me to want to get into podcasting it's been something that i've wanted to do for years and if it was not for the infamous chronicles i would have never taken my first step forward and getting on the mic and you know i just fell in love with it so it, it means the world to me i think what makes infamous Chronicles different is that it's a group of people that speak their minds and it's the voice of the people and we're not, you know, politicians, we're not rich people, we're just some, you know, normal, average day American that just gets to speak our mind and discuss what's on our heads and how we feel and get things off our chest. What's great about the Infinite Chronicles is there's multiple characters on there. It's not just, you know, two people, which is fine too, but there's so many different personalities, so many, uh, just, and, and the way you do it, where you switch out people is so different. And then everybody comes in prepared, um, with, with something to say. And if, if, even if they don't, the other people on there kind of inform them and, and it's educational. So it's like, you can have anything from, um, you know, somebody that was in jail and, and describing that to having the kid from Jerry Maguire on it. It's really incredible that. The Infamous Chronicles to me is special because there's a family and like all families, we fight and we argue and we bicker, but there's always respect. Everyone on the show respects everyone on the show and that's what makes it really important and special. I like the range of topics. I like how it's not really controlled and restricted there's a lot of freedom so if the topic changes organically we just go with it uh, which I think is how people listen I think that's how people stay interested and I think that's how people's attentions go so I think it's relevant uh, I think it's special to me because I'm on it and it's different than other podcasts because I'm on it <laughs> I'm pretty sure that sums it up right there <laughs> I think the fact that we can have so many different guests talk about so many different things, and sometimes, you know, we can be so serious, and other times it's just a, a complete shit show. And, and, you know, everybody still has a, a great time, everybody has really good camaraderie, and all the shows seem to do pretty well, uh, all in all. Well, what's special to me about the Infamous Chronicle is that it was the first podcast that even gave me an opportunity to let my voice be heard, which is already in itself is special. So you guys will always have like a place in my heart forever. And you know, I was fresh out of like a dark period in my life and it was just good to have like 
kind of like a band of brothers, so like <laughs> the only female, and it was good to have my voice be respected and to be heard. It's different from other podcasts in the sense that we talk about everything, and everybody is respectable. It's never animosity. I mean, yeah, you have the jokes, the haha, the slight misogyny here and there, but at the end of the day, we're a respectable group of people, and I think that shows more than anything else. And, you know, I've, I've had nothing but the best experience working at Infamous Chronicles. Um, what has been your favorite moment with the Infamous Chronicles so far? I'd have to say my favorite moment with Infamous Chronicles was the first time that I did a podcast with Infamous, and there was a bunch of us, and we were drinking and having a good time. I can't tell you exactly what we talked about for the life of me, but it was just one of the funnest moments and I don't think I stopped laughing the whole time we were hanging out. Yeah, was... There were a couple serious moments, but it was just a lot of fun. I would have to say that my ultimate favorite moment on the Infamous Chronicles was when I came in for my first time, and it was Infamous and Scotty G, and we, we got to kick off a freestyle with a little IRC reunion, and that, that just felt like home to me. I, I knew I was back in a good spot at that point. Well, you know, there, there's a lot of them, but... It's selfish, I guess, but it's definitely the one where it's just the one-on-one -on -one with me and you. Mm -hmm. um, it just—it was just so important to to, to have that one-on-one -on -one because we tried it before, and I didn't want to air it. And then you kind of <laughs> tricked me in a in a good way to come over there. We're gonna watch the OJ show, and uh, then we just talked about my depression, and it was something where it was just really organic. There wasn't any pressure to it. It was just comfortable just me and you and the feedback that we got was life-changing for me um those comments that, that we had were just incredible you know people saying um things like you know they were able to explain to their parents that this you know they can kind of understand what depression is a little more or sympathize a little more because of our podcast which is incredible man it's not it's really, it's weird to, to just have mics on and talk and know that you're changing lives. And that's not the only time um, that it's happened through the Infamous Chronicles, but um, at least one that I was a part of, uh, it's for sure the most just special moment that I've had on it. And I'm just really, uh, really grateful to be a part of it. Nice. Okay, perfect. And... What uh, what what to you makes Infamous Chronicles special or important? Well, just the good times, you know, the the time, all the times that just flow into great, great podcasting, you know. Okay. Hanging out with the team, all the times. Oh my God, this is really hard. I think the first time I really got to get to know Ari, because <laughs> he's a different character for me. And I don't, oh, God. He just does the most randomest shit that I think any time he gets on the mic, it's awesome. My favorite moment on the Infamous Chronicles, um, it's, it's kind of a collection of moments. It's that uh, there are friendships that had long dwindled out of my life, and as a result of the Infamous Chronicles and people coming back on as members of the team, I've been able to rekindle a lot of my friendships with people like Jester and Firefox, um, Maestro. Uh, Casey was a new friend through the podcast, and you know now it's ride or die with that guy. And uh, PSAC, him and I hadn't talked in a while, so it's really great getting all these people that um, an excuse to uh, all to get together once a week and just be ourselves. I think my favorite one, this might be kind of like morbid, but um, when we got the, the very first year, um, when our, I brought a guest on and we talked about addiction and it, we talked about self-mutilation, we talked about really just rising above like the lotuses we are all are, we bloom from the mud. And even though it was a serious episode, even though it was... Um, emotional. I, I cried. I know our guest Nate cried. Um, it was hugely profound, and I think about it often. And it's such an incredible uh, exercise in just 
human connection and how connected we all are. And it's totally inspiring and it's completely humbling. And it, it honestly makes me want to be more aware and more in tune and more present in my environment and in my society so that I can respond correctly and give the listeners, you know, some, some critical thinking, hopefully, um, from that point of view, so that it's a good show because it means, it just means so much to me being a part of. Hey guys, this is Mish from the Infamous Chronicles. Hey, this is Casey Moran. This is the Infamous. This is Firefox. This is Augie Rocks. Uh, hi, you guys. My name is Michelle Stevenson. Scotty G. Hey guys, it's the Jester. I wanted to say congratulations to the Infamous Chronicles for our four year anniversary. I love all you guys. I love being a part of the team. And I look forward to our next great year together. Thanks for listening. Happy four years to Infamous Chronicles. Thank you for listening to the Real Chronicles of Infamous podcast. Keep listening. I want to thank you guys for listening to Infamous Chronicles for four years and staying devoted to us. It means a lot. Happy anniversary. This is this is unbelievable, and uh, it would not be possible without our fans and everybody that's involved. Um, and it's just, oh, I'm just so excited. Four years. It's crazy how fast it's gone. For the past four years, this has been an incredible show for me. I hope it has been for you, and a huge congratulations um, and love to all the cast members. Thank you so much to the listeners that have made this show so great for the last four years. We couldn't have done it without you. And congratulations to our family on getting to this milestone. I look forward to our fifth year. If I was you, I'd want to be me, too. I'd want to be me, too. I'd want to be me, too. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of The Infamous Chronicles. Our show is produced by Jeremy Elder, talent acquisition is done by Casey Moran, and operations directed by Paul Sinecori. This show is copywritten Infamous Works, LLC, 2016. All rights are reserved. All of our guests appear signed via waivers. We don't own the rights to any of the music featured on our show. We are just fans of it. Visit us at infamousworks.com or call our offices at 844-4INFAMOUS.